This is Juliana Ranikar Breeze, and I'm here today with the poet Char Charlie Devers, um, because hello, Charlie. Hello, Juliana. <laughs> and um, he's come to tell me about uh, his great grandfather, who uh, had a connection with Greece. And the reason Charlie's here is because he spent time in Mount Athos, and I've never met anyone who's been to Mount Athos. So anyway, Charlie, do go ahead and tell me something about your great-grandfather. What was his name? His name was Harry Collinson Owen. Gosh, that sounds posh. Yes, he was um, of Welsh descent, uh -huh. uh, English, born in 1885. And he was a journalist and he worked for Lord Northcliffe. And during the First World War, he went out to Salonica on the Sol Salonica front and he edited a newspaper for the British Army and it's called the Balkan News. Wow, have you got a copy? I, unfortunately, I haven't. I've never come across a copy of the Balkan News. And it was News. in English? It was in English. Uh -huh. yes. And, when and that, that was part of the Ottoman Empire then? Oh, no, it wasn't. No, because I think... Was it pre what what year? Uh, this was this would have been nineteen fifteen. Oh 1918. no no no! It wasn't Ottoman. Then. I think I I think the Ottomans had lost that in eighteen in nineteen twelve during uh -huh. the Balkans War. I think yeah, I believe yeah. they'd lost it to the Greeks. Yeah. Um, but after the war, my grandfather wrote what is now I think all, it was probably I think the definitive account of the Balkans campaign called. Salonica and After, the sideshow that ended the war. Gosh, what was his name again? Harry Collins and Owen. Right. But uh, more, uh, more formally, Collins and Owen. Is that the name he wrote under? Yes. Okay. Um, he wrote a number of books. Uh, he went to... He went to Hollywood. He, well, he went to um, America in 1929 uh, with a letter of introduction from... William Randolph Hearst, who he met and um, he was pr proudly play, played table tennis with. And he travelled around the country um, from New York to the South. The further he got from his destination, the, the, less, the, the, the more he's cribbing from other newspapers. Obviously, his heart is in the flashpots. And he brought out a book called The American Illusion, in 1929, and this is at the high point of American capitalism. The, the, the dream was going to go on forever. And he got it out just before the crash of 1929. Gosh. And later he went over, he lived in Hollywood. And he knew, my mother has a f group photograph of him with Daryl Zanuck, the producer. Ah. And another one with Charlie Chaplin. Gosh. So he was on nodding terms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With all these people. Yeah, how and exciting. He was, oh, no, he was... And did he actually live in Thessalonica? He lived in Thessalonica, yes. Yeah. He lived there f um, for three years, I think. Yeah, and probably spoke Greek. I think he probably did. He definitely sp he definitely spoke French. Yeah. So he would have... Well, that was the language of culture, of course. Yes. But... Because um, he, he lived in Paris. Yes. And, of course, it would have had connections with Constantinople. But uh, w w did this influence you, you um, to go... Uh, to Yugoslavia and um, and Greece? Yes, well, my father was very interested in Yugoslavia. Um, uh, I had a friend called... I, I'd already been... Well, I, I'd been to Yugoslavia before, and I'd been to Greece. But I had a Greek friend who lived in Milan, who was a jeweller, who invited me out there. Mm -hmm. So I went out to Milan. And this was in the... This was in 1989. Right. And you were about 25, I you said. I was about said. 25, yes. And good looking. I was good looking <laughs> and probably a bit too pretty for my own good. Because <laughs> I had, in those days, I could, I could turn heads wherever I went. Ah. Uh, uh, getting a bit old now. <laughs> <laughs> But I, I went. Oh, excuse me. I went down to um, uh, went down to Sicily, and I got scared by a very paranoid American who told me all the well, the trains are going to go on strike, and I think I had a pass, so I could. Uh, and also, Italy was just too beautiful. It was. I I needed to go to somewhere. It was. You mean ruins. Sicily? Sicily, the whole of Italy. Yeah. I mean the whole thing, the architecture. It was just yeah. too too much. 
So I decided to go to Greece where it was all in ruins. <laughs> and I was, what I'd done is I'd gone to, I was, I was on the, I was a course of steroids which were affecting me um, for an eye complaint, but they were... Oh, you, you tell me, because you'd had magical mushrooms. <laughs> I, yes. And unfortunately, I'm the only person I've ever met who's had this adverse effect. Oh, funny. They opened up lots of doors. Oh, it's doors. not funny, actually. Well, no, it's like having jellyfish in my eyes. They opened up doors of perception which have never closed. I'm rather glad. Oh. But I went to the Fitzy. The oh, Fitzy yes. The Fitzy, Florence, yes. And I came out with a... I bought a red and white... A pet, red and black pen and a, a sketchbook and I was feverishly, insanely sketching all over Italy and I had these red and black drawings I'm very pleased with and they're very popular. Have you still got them? Oh, I've still got them, yes. I, I got down to Yugoslavia. I stayed with a mad Serb in Bel Belgrade, Belgrade yeah. who claimed he was a close friend of Joan Collins. Uh-huh, was he? Well, I was I, I know he was introducing me as some famous English celebrity, and I don't think it was people were oh, people were sort of looking at him, thinking, "Yeah, all right, okay." But I remember I mentioned the word, you know, sort of Kosovo. And, he said, oh, Kosovo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I went down to. I, I, I took. A You've trip. got to be very careful in the Balkans what words very. you use. Oh, very. I mean, I would say things. You know, I've been, for instance, I went down to. I stayed for an afternoon in Pristina. And I think about 200 people have been killed very recent, uh, uh, recently. I miss the, I miss Slobodan Milosevic making speech by, by a day uh, at Kosovo, by about a few days. Um, I went into the town and you could, I mean... Which the, uh, town? Pristina. Um, Where's that? Capital of Kosovo in the south. Oh, right, OK. And when they say you can cut the atmosphere with a knife, you could. And I came back and I was waiting for my train and there were two very bored Serbian policemen with AK-47s. And um, they got chatting with me and they said, oh, I want to search your bags. And they pulled out these, these drawings and they really, they liked them. They uh -huh. really liked them. And put them back. And as my train came in, there was a little Bosnian, little, little Kosovan, Albanian, with a sort of white, I don't know what the skull cups are called, the, the, the. and these two just ran over there and beat him up and handcuffed him. Because he was Albanian. Because he was Albanian. And my tra the train came in and... You had to get on it. I got on it. I wasn't, well, obviously I'm a stranger in that part of the world. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I went down to, uh, I took the train down to... They didn't like people with long hair. I did, I did hear yes. that, and I was told that um, in that period, yeah. even for a woman to travel on a train, you know, because they used to come in and ask for your passport yeah. in the middle of the night. Yeah. You know, all sorts of... It was really yeah. very dangerous. I mean, I've been to Belgrade, and it's, it's perfectly safe. Yeah. I mean, I was only there about three years ago. But uh, I know that in the 70s and 80s, they had an aversion to people with long hair, you know, hippies. Yes. Or anybody yeah. on drugs. It's funny, when I was there, there was they, 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 they were more relaxed about it. Right. I, I was even saluted by a policeman in Zagreb. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, we'll talk in part two yes. about Mount Athos, because yes. that was the... that's where we're coming yeah, to. Yeah, that's really what we're going, what we're here for. Okay, Charlie, see you next time. <laughs>